What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Spankin' the Spot, and if you could real quick leave a like down below so that way I can know that you guys are supporting this new series of mine that I'm having so much fun doing. If you want to look at what we're bringing today, we are bringing the Chinchino, the Frostlass, the Noivern, the Luxray, the Kingdra, and the uh, Bisharp. That is what that thing is called. Bisharp. Now, uh, if you were around my channel whenever I first started, we are oh, we are at uh, eight wins and two losses with a rating of 1606. If you were around my channel whenever we first started, you will know how much I love Chinchino and Frostlass. Those two Pokemon, we are going up against somebody from Hyogo, Japan with a 1607 rating. That is, that's really cool. He is bringing the power. Um, I am going to... He's bringing the Mamoswine, the Electros, the Chandelure, the Jellicent, the Scizor, and the Dragonite. I'm going to bring Chinchino. Um, I'm going to start off with Chinchino. I'm going to bring... Going to bring Kingdra. And I'm also going to bring Frostlass. Um... If you're on my channel and first started, you will know how much I love uh, Chinchino. It was actually a gift from me way, way, way back when, probably a good five months ago, from X Ray's Ovation. I gifted him a shiny Mawile, which he still uses to this day in his VGC, and he gave me a, um, a, uh, a Minchino, or, yeah, I think it's called a Minchino, the pre evolution of Chinchino, and. I don't know why, but I just fell in love with that Pokemon right then and there, and I've this has been one of my favorite Pokemon ever since. I have a lot of favorites. I have a whole lot of favorites. Every Pokemon is my favorite. But if it's a normal type, it's like, pfft, why is he taking so long to choose? Like, I just don't understand. He's probably going to lead off with the Chandelure, which I'm okay with, because I am Jolly Max Speed, which outspeeds most things, actually, which not many people expect, but Jolly Max Speed Chinchino outspeeds most things. Why are you taking so long? You're making me want to kill myself. Just kidding. Not really. I just, I just really, really, really wish he would pick his Pokemon for 20 seconds. Um, if you guys can, to really, really help me out, Leave a comment down below of a Pokemon set. Anything at all that you would like me to use, I would. I'm going to take what you said, I'm going to make the Pokemon, and I'm going to use it on an episode of Spank in the Spot. Because if I could just take any. He let the timer ran, ran. I don't understand. Does that mean that he just brings three random Pokemon? Whatever, whatever, that's. You know what? That would actually be really cool. To like just go with whatever the game gave you and try to make a win out of it. That'd be that'd be a really cool idea to do one day. Um, he is going to I'm gonna lead off first with my Ooh, he's going to start off first with his Mamo Swine. And I'm leading off with my Chinchino. That means he is scarfed. He is scarfed. I'm still going to stay in here though. Am I am I gonna stay in here? Am I? Let me see something real quick. You have a speed of 183. And Frostlass has a speed of 178. So Frostlass worn out speed. So a Destiny Bond would not even be worth it. I'm going to go for a Bullet Seed. Just to see how much damage this is going to do. He's going to withdraw. That is a good thing. That is a very good thing. And he is going into the Scizor. Okay, this bullet seed isn't going to do a whole, whole lot. However, actually there's no however to that. I just kind of did that for a dramatic effect, to be 110% honest. Um, it's probably going to go for a bullet punch right here. That literally did 10%. Um, I'm going to switch into my Kingdra. Going to switch into the Kingdra, just because Kingdra is one of my least favorite dragon types. So if it goes down to a scissor, I won't be too offended. I don't know why uh, it's one of my least favorite. It just really is. I've never really had that good of a time using it, so it never really made me, like, it's never really done anything for me. It's never swept a team. It's never gotten more than one kill. It's never, it's never been that great. Never been that great, to be 110% honest with you guys. Chinchina, why is this guy taking so long to make his decisions. 
hoping that we can pull out three wins, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull out a win on this one. He's going to Mega Evolve, probably going to go for the Bug Bite, or no, he's probably going to go for a Super Power. That's probably what he's going to do. Swords Dance. Okay, okay. Ja feels. Ja definitely feels. Um, I'm actually going to go for the Scald and pray to sweet baby Jesus that we get a burn or a crit or something. Can we? That, that's a crit. That has got to be a crit and a burn. And he goes for the knockoff. No. Catch his knockoff. Why would he go for a knockoff of all things? Ugh. Son of a mother. Um, right now, I'm actually going to set up a focus energy. Because if I don't have my uh, scope lens and he's going to die to a burn, I want to make sure that I can get another crit on something else with a freaking Scald or a Draco Meteor. That's what I want. He's probably going to go for a bullet punch because he knows he's going to die to the burn. Probs. Probs. Um, he is taking freaking forever. Um, I don't know how much I like Mega Scissor. Not going to lie. Don't under... I don't know why, but I hate its pincers on its hands. I really hate them. I, I think since he's called Mega Scissor, shouldn't he get, like, blades on his hand? Because he's Scissor? But, th but then that'd be too much like Scyther. What if instead of the pincers, he got, like, blade scissors? That would be really cool. That would be cool. He's taking forever and a day. He's going to go for a bullet punch, like I predicted. It's not going to kill me. Not going to kill me. And if he doesn't die to the um to the burn right now, I can take another bullet punch, which he will die. So that is a very, very, very good time to be had. And I have my focus energy up, so that means that I will probably get a crit on whatever the heck a rube comes in right now. It's probably going to go into the Mammoth Swine and Ice Shard, which will not be a fun time. Yup, Mammoth Swine is coming in with the Ice Shard. So I'm going to go for a um, Draco Meteor. I'm going to get off as much damage as possible. If he doesn't go for the Ice Shard, then I know that he's going for the Ice School Crash and he's Scarf. I outsped and I missed the Draco Meteor. I missed a freaking Draco. How many people miss Draco Meteors? I don't understand. I feel like I'm the only one that has these type of bullcrap hacks. What the heck, Aru, man? So dumb. Um, Frostlass is going to come in, and Frostlass is not going to do a whole heck of a lot, except for go for an Ice Beam one time. Um, Frostlass is the Pokemon that I use whenever I want to Destiny Bond something, because it outspeeds a whole lot of stuff, and if you put a Focus Sash on it, it can automatically get off a hit, gonna go for an Earthquake, he's gonna bring me down to my Sash, more than likely all the way down to my sash 11 HP so he's gonna go for another one and right here I'm gonna go for a destiny bond and take out that he went for an ice shard <laughs> uh, at least my cursed body disabled the ice shard I guess that's something not really Chinchino's gonna come in here and hopefully a life orb tail slap will knock this thing out hopefully I'm praying to God. Come on, Life Orb Tail Slap. Please do something. Pretty, pretty please. I wonder if I could make a team of all Skill Link Pokemon. Let's see, you would have um, Mega Heracross, three. Come on, four, yep, that, that's dead. Mega Heracross, Chinchino, you would have Cloyster. Is, does anything else get Skill Link? Huh. I cannot think at this point in time. I like the videos where I can battle and have the type of, I'm going to go for a bullet seat right now, and be able to have normal conversation, even though it's not like with anybody. I like the fact that I can just talk like this and watch this battle happen, because it's pretty self-explanatory what the heck Karoo is going to happen. He's probably going to go for a... Um... Will-O-Wisp right here. Probably gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp. No, he's gonna go for a Recover. Okay, not like that's gonna save him. Because that's not gonna take him up to enough. One more bullet. He probably was banking on the Cursed Body coming in. This Bullet Seed will take him out. He was probably banking on Cursed Body, and especially with that crit. 
curse body uh, disabling my bullet seed so that way he could there we go bullet seed was disabled so that way um this next turn I'd have to go for something else like rock blast but it didn't happen and that is one win for today's episode with chinchino putting in the work I freaking love chinchino I swear I wish I could I might I don't know I need I still haven't made an official mascot for this channel because there are three po there are three Pokemon that are always a top contender for me, and that's Kecleon, Braviary, and Chinchino. I can never decide. And also, because it's one of my favorite Pokemon, and also one of my girlfriend's favorite Pokemon, I'm also really, really starting to love Rapidash. I don't know why, even though Verdlet, if you are watching this, so help me Jesus, if you badmouth Rapidash one more time, I'm gonna sweep you with a Rapidash, I promise you. I'm just kidding, that's, that's just a little friendly com competition. We're now nine wins and two losses. Um, so between those four Pokemon, I can never ever decide what to make my official mascot. Since I'm still kind of a smaller channel, I, I don't really have an official mascot. Um, okay, so he's bringing um the very 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 scary Pokeberries. He's bringing the Garchomp, the Azumarill, the Talonflame, the Gengar, the uh, Tyranitar, and the Venusaur. <clears throat> so. I am going to be bringing, I'm going to lead off with the Frostlass, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to lead off with the Frostlass, I'm going to bring the Kingdra, and I'm also going to bring the Luxray, because um, I think that a Guts Facade will be able to knock out most of his team, most of his team. Um, he also has the Crunch on him for the Gengar. He also has the Wild Charge for the Talonflame. So I think Luxray will be my best bet. He also has Wild Charge for the Azumarill. And he also has Super Power for the um, Tyranitar. So this could be a thing. This could be a very, very, very powerful Luxray going in right now. Why is everybody taking a year and a day to choose their Pokemon for Battle Spot? Like, I don't understand. I pick so quickly. Oh, jeez. I really, really, really want to have um, Bisharp do something. Oh, that is what I need to do. I made the freaking best Pokemon set that's going to be on the next bank in the spot. You guys are just going to have to wait and find out what it is now that I'm teasing you with it. But it is honestly one of the best sets I think I have ever seen used. And I'm kind of stealing it from Hayden. Because Hayden, he has some very, very good NU and RU uh, Pokemon builds that I'm really, really starting to like. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal his steal his little trickeries. Trickeries box is going to be Talonflame. The box Talonflame. And um, I'm not going to stay in. Actually, yeah, I am. Because I can't... I'm trying to think. Yes, I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. Because he's going to go for a Flare Blitz right here. I know how he is. He's going to go... Will-O-Wisp. Okay, is this going to be like a completely defense... Or, uh, support? Even if it is, I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond right here. Banking on the fact that he's going to go for a Flare Blitz or a Brave Bird. He's going to go for a Roost. Okay, 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 okay. Don't know how I feel about this. Going for a Destiny Bond again. Um, I'm going to go for another Ice Beam. Gotta go for another Ice Beam. Because <coughs> I don't know... Crit? That is always nice. Going for a Taunt! Why would you go for a Taunt? Ugh. Okay, Um, he's going to Roost right here. He's gonna roost. So I'm going to switch out into my Luxray. No, saving Luxray for the back. I'm gonna go into my Kingdra because he's gonna roost right here. And I know for a fact that even if he does go for a Brave Bird, the recoil from this will be enough to take him out. Um, but I doubt he's gonna do that. Going for a roost. Going for a roost. I don't know why people run a defensive talent flame. Like that. I don't know, that just doesn't seem very viable to me. I mean, it very well could be. Maybe I'm just on drugs or something, but... 
I don't know, because it's so frail. Now he's probably going to go into the um, Mega Venusaur, Azumarill. Okay, Scald is going to be a thing. That is definitely going to be a thing if I can get the burn. No, no burn, that sucks. Uh, Play Rough is definitely coming my way. So I'm going to go into my Frostlass. Maybe a Cursed Body will give me a little bit of luck. Maybe a little bit. I'm hoping. Maybe Cursed Body. That could actually really, really help me out. Because then I could go into... He may predict the switch and go for a Belly Drum. That could be a big problem. That could be a huge problem. He's taking so long. That's probably what he's doing. Is considering the Belly Drum. That Belly Drum Azumarill. I really want to bring a lot of just power one day. Just a whole lot of power to battle spot, get as many wins, play rough, just like I thought. It's gonna knock me out, Curse Body. Could that be a thing? Is Curse Body gonna help me out? No, Curse Body isn't helping me out. So I'm going into my Lux Ray, and uh, I'm gonna go for a Wild Charge right here. Unless he goes into the Garchomp right now, which I doubt he will. Hoping he doesn't. Hoping he didn't bring the Garchomp. He brought the Garchomp. Oh, He brought the Garchomp. And more than likely, this is, this is a Scarf Chomp. So I'm going to just go for a Facade. More than likely, an Earthquake is coming my way and is going to knock me out. That sucks. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. An earthquake is gonna knock me out. Ugh. This really sucks. Whenever I have battles like this, it just really, really lowers myself esteem, man. I don't think you realize what you're doing right now. You're gonna 3 0 me. Um I'm going to go for a signal beam on the off chance that he switches out into that stupid as he goes for an outrage. And that is Easily gonna knock out my Kingdra. Easily gonna knock out my Kingdra. So that is a 3-0 loss. That is very, very, very upsetting. But you know what? If I can consecutively get two wins, one loss per video, I'll be sitting pretty. So I'm okay with getting one loss. Sometimes you need a loss. But it still sucks. No, I don't want to save this stupid video. Why would I want to save this stupid video? Of course I want to continue battling. You don't have to ask me these silly questions. Battle box. And, uh, so now we're gonna get in our third battle. I apologize, um, real quick. I want to apologize because I don't have my mic. Don't have my mic that I talk into because I left it up at the hotel that I was staying at when I was at work this week. So that really freaking sucks. And I want to apologize for not uploading for like two days, but I was away at work and I work nights. So I work from 8 at night to 6 in the morning, so it's really, really hard for me to get any time to record or to have time to even battle. Back to spank in the spot. Look at this. They have a Hydreigon, a Talonflame, a Mamoswine, a Lucario, a Rotom, and a Gengar. So, um, going to be bringing... the Bisharp going to be bringing the Kingdra maybe yeah we'll bring the Kingdra and we will also bring the Luxray why the heck not man gotta have a little bit of fun and Luxray is a lot of fun Luxray Fun fact of the day, was my favorite 4th gen Pokemon. Every single time that I would go through Platinum or Diamond or Pearl, right? yeah, 4th gen, um, I would always capture a Shinx, I would always name it Sparky, and it would always be my like lead Pokemon going into every single gym, except for the Rock type gym. Except for the Rock type gym. Always. I think it was uh, Route... Was it Route 203? Was that what it started off with? I think it was. Um, right now we're in here. I'm going to go for a um I'm going to go for a choice banded sucker punch. 
I'm actually not running Iron Head, Iron Head on this thing, and I should be. I'm going to go for Choice Band and Sucker Punch. That's going to do a heck ton of damage, dear lord. Um, the reason why I don't run Iron Head is because I would rather run Psycho Cut and Sucker Punch and Night Slash. Because Psycho Cut gives you a little bit of a leeway in certain things. So I'm going to go into my Kingdra now, because that really sucked. Um, going to go for the clean Scald. Going for the Scald. Um, yep, the Scald is going, the Scald is definitely going to happen. That's definitely going to be a thing. And that's definitely going to take out this Mammoth Swine. If he switches out into the Rotom Wash, I'm okay with that. Because I can always just go for a Draco Meteor next turn and hopefully take it down to about half. To where Luxray can just come in and facade and clean up. I'm hoping. Hoping. Actually, no, because Luxray can't outspeed a freaking Mammoth Swine. That really blows. Yep, here comes a Rotom Wash. Just like I thought, Scald is going to happen. It's going to do about 10%, maybe. Yeah, about that. And I don't get the burn. Oh, I do get the burn. I do get the burn. The burn is a good thing. Um, Can Draco Meteor happen right now? I think Draco Meteor is about to happen. And if I get a crit, Draco Meteor will knock this thing out. It should, right? Draco Meteor... <gasps> And he has the citrus. Oh my lord, that sucks the big hairy meatball. Thunder Wave. Perfect. Because that is exactly what I wanted. Was a freaking Thunder Waved. Ugh. He didn't have a single fairy type though, so that is a good thing. So I can just keep on going for Draco Meteors and keep on hoping for crits. Even though it's not going to happen. I can feel it not happening right now. Um... A light screen, that sucks. Why would somebody carry Thunder Wave Light Screen? Probably Hydro Pump, has to have Hydro Pump because it's Wash, and Volt Switch, right? And it didn't knock it out? Oh my lord. I'm telling you, man. Once Kingdra, if Kingdra doesn't get a crit, it's kind of sort of useless. I kind of wish I had Dragon Pulse on this because a Dragon Pulse would be really really nice to have a lucario okay um i'm gonna go for a scald hope for the burn what the heck mega lucario he likes his ubers can't say i blame him though but i like my ubers too um in the comment down below leave a quick comment and let me know if you guys would be all right if i did happen to bring like a mega lucario or a mega kangaskhan or a mega Gengar or something like that, or even a Mega Mawile. I'd really like to bring a Mega Mawile sometime, because I miss my Mega Mawile. Ever since it got banned, I haven't even touched it, and I really freaking miss it. This Aura Sphere is going to knock me out, which is going to suck. Oh my lord, did you see how fast that HP went down? That was the fastest time I've ever seen in the entire life. In my entire freaking life, and Luxray, you're not going to be able to outspeed this thing, are you? can already feel it happening. Gonna go for a superpower. Why the heck are we not? Aura Sphere is going to knock me out, and that's going to be one win and two losses. That really, really bites. Wow. That is the first time I've ever had two losses in a row. But you know what? Maybe that's what I get for being up at 4.30 in the morning and doing this. Make sure you guys leave a like and a comment down below. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.